So hey, uh, what's up? Um, so this is the next video in my anime review series. Um, this time I'm doing a Natsuno Taizai or Seven Deadly Sins. It's right here, number 31. Okay, so I'm gonna review all the seasons, just kind of give my idea, just keep it short. So the first, uh, the first season was pretty good. I actually kind of liked it. I gave it an eight. I think I initially had it as a nine, but then later I decided to drop it down to an eight. Um, I did really think it was good, very different, unique. That's why I almost gave it a nine because when anime is like really different, not you know the usual type, then I I, I, I tend to that's when I give it like a nine or a ten usually. But um, yeah, the, I mean it has some flaws, obviously, like all anime. But I thought like for a shonen anime, it was pretty good, probably like one of the better ones. Um, so I thought it was pretty unique at the time. I gave it an eight. Uh, the score seven point six eight. I think is a fair score. I might even like. I almost feel like it should be a little bit higher, maybe like a quarter of a point higher, maybe. But I mean, it's a fair score, so I can't say it's like um, overrated or underrated or anything. I think it's a, it's it's a, it's a fair score. So I actually enjoyed the first season quite a bit. Uh, now for the second season. Uh, the score is, um, wait, that's not the second season. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is the second season. So I think the score went down a little bit. Um, yeah, the score went down a little bit. Usually, like, the second season, the scores go up a little, like, go up higher because there's less people watching them. You know, the, the people that uh, hate the anime, they stop watching. So that's why second and third seasons tend to have uh, an inflated score. But when the score goes down, that's when you know the quality actually went down in, in this case, which is what happened here. Um, so I gave it a seven. I didn't like the second season as much. I still thought it was pretty good. Unique concept. You have a lot of interesting characters, but I think the problem with a lot of anime is that you, they, like the first season has a really good idea, but then when you get to the second season, they just keep reusing the old idea and the meat, the, the tropes and the jokes, they just get kind of old because it's all more of the same. And like, you realize the dialogue just gets kind of worse and kind of dumb and it stops being unique. That's the problem with a lot of second seasons. A lot of second seasons do much worse than the first season, in my opinion, uh, just because it's just really, it gets really repetitive by the time you get to the second season. So I still think it was pretty good. Uh, you know, I gave it a seven. So 7.6. Um, so I think this is a rather fair score as well uh, for the second season. Uh, now, uh, let's see, third season. Is this the third season or is this like another OVA? Uh, yeah, so this is the third season. Okay, third season, this word gets a little interesting. So the score tanks quite a bit for the third season. We're down to 6.45. So first two seasons, people enjoyed them. That's true. Third season, you have a huge drop in the number of people you know watching and a lot of people... Uh, just did not like it. They got it six six point four five. Now, what was the reasoning behind this? So, um, at the time, a lot of people were complaining about the animation quality. Um, I think that that was the main reason. A lot of people were just complaining about the animation quality. Uh, they were saying, "Oh, it's awful. The drawing's awful, and all that." So, people weren't like the, the there were a lot of people criticizing. Like they weren't even looking at the story. They weren't even uh, looking at the story. They were just criticizing the animation quality and saying it's like the worst thing ever. And that's why it got a lot of like flack basically at the time. Like a lot of people are just criticizing it for the, the poor animation quality. Like, and I, I honestly, most of the time, I don't even know what people are talking about when they talk about the animation quality, like, or the animation quality is amazing or the animation quality is bad. And most of the time I have no clue what people are talking about because I'm like, who cares? Like it, it looks fine. Just, 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 just watch the show. Um, it wasn't, I don't like, I don't know what people are talking about to be honest. So I, I still gave it a seven, the third season, I think was still pretty good. Like not as good as second season, uh, there were some cool aspects, but once again, um, it just starts to get kind of corny and cheesy, you know, with the with the the tropes and all that at, at this point. Um, but I, I think there, it was still pretty interesting to watch. I gave it a seven, um, so I do think maybe it was starting to get a, the show wasn't getting as good, like it was getting worse. But um, I do think people overreacted. Like that's the that's the truth. People people just overreacted, and I think. This score is probably a bit too low. I would probably draw up, like up this by at least 0.5, maybe even three quarters of a point. So I would say this is an. I would say it's underrated. I think people were just just uh, really uh, over. Like I think people were exaggerating how bad the animation was. So 
Um, sometimes, you know, people took like, you know, screenshots and like, look how bad the animation quality is. And I'm like, oh, wow. I, if you didn't point that out, I never would have noticed. I just watched the show and, 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 and enjoyed it. So, so I don't know what people's problems was <laughs> at the time. But yeah, I think third season was actually uh, underrated. And then finally, you have the fourth season um, where the score goes up a little bit because at this point, people weren't complaining about the animation quality, but uh, the show wasn't as good. So I gave it a six, and I do agree the fourth season was probably probably the worst one. I just think the story just kept going downhill, downhill. It just gets really cheesy. It gets ridiculous. Um a very yeah it just like it's yeah it was just like at this point i just wanted to finish it you know just to get to the end uh kind of like with the fairy tale the last season of fairy tale was, was pretty bad and it's pretty much the same thing so i gave it a six like it was okay uh, i mean looking back at it i don't know maybe i should have ranked it even lower but i gave it a six i think that's a fair score and 6.58 i think it's a fair score for the the fourth season um maybe a little too low like basically uh my final verdict is that the first two seasons i think the scores are fair um and maybe even a little low um the second the third and fourth season i would say the scores are too low and probably should be a little bit higher so yeah very very interesting there uh you know point there but yeah first two seasons i would inflate the score a bit um and then um like just just a little bit like the first two seasons I'd probably inflate the score a little bit or keep it the same last two seasons I would probably increase the score quite a bit so overall I would say it seems like by the scores the the overall the show's actually kind of underrated which is very rare for me to say but yeah I would actually say the scores are probably lower than they should be um and I think people were focusing too much on the animation quality and just instead of just enjoying the show. So anyway, that's it. Um, see you next time.